Hola, my beautiful people. Welcome to join us today. Today, I am going to do a flow. That is、um, because now we are at the end of September, beginning of October. It's like one of my favorite times of the year. It's also the the autumn. You know, like late summer, autumn. I feel like we have to greet. To the autumn, why not? <laughs> I wanted to greet and welcome autumn into my daily life, and I want to enjoy it to the fullest. So I'm sharing this flow with you, and I hope you enjoy this flow as usual with us. My babies may join us time to time. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. So now let's start in sitting in the middle of our mat. I'll see you there. Find yourself seated in the middle of the mat. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And we'll start the flow with a little, with a few head ro rotations. We'll just bring our ear towards the right ear towards the right shoulder. Extend the left arm out, like exploring with your left fingertips. Or something, and stay at one juicy spot. You know, like just elongate the side of our neck. Autumn is a season of late, like it's connecting from the summer. Uh, <coughs> oh wait, excuse me. <coughs> oh wait, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and <laughs> it's from the late summer. So, in the traditional Chinese medicine, autumn normally is the season that you find、um, a lot of heat in the organs, especially in liver. So, we tend to eat in China. We tend to eat more, you know,、uh, the fruits or the food that has the cooling character. For example,、um, papaya, pear, and we avoid eating oranges, mandarins, which will grow the fire inside of us. So, yeah, and I feel like my I'm having a very sore throat, like heat, dry throat these days. It's also potentially because of the change of the season into autumn. And now tilt your head to the left. Also a little bit windy these days.、Mm. Oh, so juicy! We'll do some of the asanas that are very、uh, beneficial for our liver meridian, which is kind of on heat during the autumn season. And bring the neck towards the chest. Feel the elongation on the back of the neck. And bring the chin up to the sky. Open the throat. And a few rounds like this. Chin to the chest. Exhale here. Inhale. Open up. Open the throat. Two more times. Exhale. 
and inhale exhale and now we start to rotate the head to the right no to the left like anti-clockwise doesn't really matter like you'll just change direction and we'll change direction Keep the shoulders down. And now we'll come back to center. Okay, to feel a little difference of your neck versus the beginning of the class. Now we take a big inhale. That's Nini behind me. We take a big inhale, lift arm up. Exhale, twist towards the left. Bring the right hand on top of the left knee. Gaze towards the left side of the room. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll lift the right arm and pointing it all the way towards the right side of the room. Side bend. Maintain your chest open. And round over. Place the left hand on top of the right knee. Like cross the arms. And then we'll just bring the hands on our shoulders, like give ourselves a hug. Left elbow on top of the right. Shake your body side to side. Bring your chin into your chest, rounding. Little bit of stretch and opening on the back side of our um, body. And we'll inhale, lift. So, twist towards the right. Inhale, lift the right hand up and pointing it all the way towards the left side. Exhale. Place the right hand on top of the left knee and hold yourself. Right. Elbow on top of the left. Shake your body side to side. And inhale, come back to center. Big inhale and exhale. Now we bring the soles of our feet together. Butterfly. Place the left hand on top of the right ankle. Inhale, open the right arm towards the right and reach all the way towards the back of our mat. Gaze towards the right side. Inhale, lift the right arm all the way up. And so bring it all the way to the left ankle. In the meantime, inhale, open the left arm towards the back side. Open towards the left. And just do like this. Inhale, lift the left arm up and exhale, place it on the right ankle. Inhale, open towards the right side. We'll just do two more times on each side. Inhale, place the right hand all the way and exhale. Touch the ankle and inhale, open. One more time each side. Inhale, open to the right. Exhale here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. And inhale. And now we'll just place the left hand all the way across the right arm and on top of the, on the outside of the right foot and try to lift your right leg up and kick the left, right heel away from the body try to lengthen the leg if you cannot just bend the right leg and open the right hand with the same motion open and reach towards the back and 
expand. Bring the right hand all the way to center and place the right foot down. And hold with the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Lift and twist. Mm. Now we come back to center. Mm. Tabletop. Mm. I feel cats and cows. Inhale. Cow pose, bring the belly button down towards the mat and open the throat, open the chest, open the collarbone, gaze up. Back bend, exhale, cat pose, push the floor away, round the back. And inhale, cow. Feel rounds between these two poses. <sighs> Now we'll come back to center. Inhale, press through your left hand through the mat and lift your right arm up towards the sky. Open yourself towards the right side of the mat and exhale, cross the needles. Bring the right arm all the way down. Cross over to the left side and bring your right cheek on the mat. Left fingertips. Press the floor away so that your uh, hips are still square. Mm. And take a big inhale, lift your right arm all the way up to the sky. And this time, keep in this twist. We'll just shift ourselves into facing the right side and Pivot through your uh, left heel, uh, left knee. Bring the right leg all the way back. Side plank variation. <coughs> with the right knee, with, with the left knee on the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, even open the chest towards the sky. Lead with your right elbow. Just bring it back and open the chest. And take a big inhale, we'll come to lift our lead with our right fingertips all the way towards the sky and press through the right hand, left hand and right feet. Lift your left knee off the floor. And exhale, bring it down. So from here, take a big inhale, open your chest a little bit wider and open. And exhale, cross the needle with the right arm underneath your left, between your left knee and your left arm. And inhale, open. Exhale, cross over, round. Three more times. Inhale, and exhale. <laughs> Last time, exhale. And we'll come back into a tabletop. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Do you feel a little bit more open on the right side versus the left? If you feel so, that is great. <laughs> Now take a big inhale, press through the right hand and lift your left arm all the way towards the sky, open towards the left. Exhale, bring the arm all the way under, cross the needles and rest your left cheek on the mat. Press away the floor with your right hand. Let's stay here for a few rounds of breath. 
and inhale lift the left arm all the way up again and pivot with the right knee and open the left leg all the way back and pointing the left hand all the way towards the front of the mat side plank variation <laughs> even try to lead with your left elbow open your chest towards the sky we'll come back to center and lift your arm left fingertips towards the sky and press through the right knee and left foot uh, right hand and left foot and reach through your left fingertips towards sky lift your right knee off the mat very strong here exhale place the right knee back down and we'll open a little more and exhale round over cross over four more times inhale left arm lift and exhale left arm cross the needles inhale exhale in and out last time in and out and now we'll come back to tabletop Come to rest in the child's pose. Keep your, you can keep your knees wide open or bring them close. Whichever suits you better now. Place your forehead down. Rest yourself here for three rounds of breath. And gently lift your hips up. Tuck your toes, lift yourself into a downward facing dog. Walk out the dogs. Bring the chest towards the sides. Pointing the hip towards the sky. And gently walk yourself all the way to the top of the mat. Rag down. Hand hold the each elbows opposite elbows and just let yourself hand here. Let the gravity walk out. Let the spine pointing towards floor. <sighs> Feel this downstream bloodline going all the way towards your brain <laughs> and this lengthening. All the way behind our hamstring. Back of our leg. Yeah, it's very restorative pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And gently lift yourself up. Round the back. Very slowly. Neck comes at last. We'll come to meet in mountain pose. Tadasana. Reset. <sighs> Bring the feet a little closer than hip distance. And from here, take a big inhale, chair pose. Bring the hips back and chest up. Arms alongside your ears and shoulders away from the ears. <sighs> And from here, take a big inhale, exhale, throw the arms back. Keep the body in the same shape of the chair pose. Just play with the arms. Inhale, we'll come into a chair, but this time we'll come to our tiptoes. Exhale, bring it down, chair pose, and arms back, arms like airplane. Inhale, tiptoe, chair, exhale. Airplane chair. Three more times. Inhale, tiptoe chair. Exhale, airplane chair. In. In. Last time, we'll hold here for three, for two, for one, and we'll come into a forward fold. Hmm. 
From the forward fold, take a big inhale. We'll come back into a downward facing dog. One round of breaths in this downward facing dog, and we'll just wave forward. Inhale, wave forward, and gently come onto our belly, very gently. <clears throat> we'll come to come to our forearms. Springs pose. Bring the elbows in towards the torso. Open the collarbones. Open the throat. Slight back bend. Press the cubit bone into the mat, and squeeze the glutes. Now we'll just place our left arm slightly out in front of you, in front of us, like kind of forty-five degrees or sixty degrees, just for a little better support. And from here, we'll just curl our left knee, bring the left foot closer to the glute, and swing the right arm all the way back to hold the right left foot. And now we'll just. Lift the left knee off the floor, and try to like hold opposite、uh, forces with the、uh, hand and the foot. Try to lift the foot to the back side, and your arm pull the foot back into the front side, so that your in the meantime you're opening your chest and your heart. And release. We'll just fold our forearms like a pillow in front of us, and place our forehead on top of it. Rest your forehead on your forearms. Bend both knees, and windshield wiper, like it's a pro version of windshield. Bring the feet side to side. Relax any tensions. <sighs> And after this reset, we'll come to Sphinx pose again. Extend the right arm a little bit out. Form forty-five degrees on sixty. For a better support, and bend the right knee, swing the left arm all the way back to hold the right foot, and lift the right knee off the mat. Kick the foot into the hand, and the hand pulling the foot, and open your heart. Exhale, relax. We、we'll、just. Gracefully or ungracefully, move our body to flip, and we'll come to our back. <clears throat> you see that I feel always these days with with a little bit of dry throat, so I tend to do a lot of this throat clearing sound <clears throat> like this, and just like constantly doing it. Even if I drink a lot of water, it's a season. Change. So I feel like I need to greet autumn for my body to better prepare for it, and to say welcome. Now bring the knees into the chest. Rest the lower back on the mat, and sway the legs side to side. Gentle massage on our lower back. <coughs> I feel rolling bridges, and we are call it off. Close it off. <laughs> Bring the feet on the floor and close to the glutes. Hands next to the glutes. Take big inhale. Lift the glutes off the floor. Press through the feet, and arms also lift 
and bring it all the way in front of your head. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Four more times. Very slow and very gentle at your own pace. Inhale. Lift with the hip and press through the heels. And exhale. In. Exhale. Two more times. And exhale. Bring the feet wide and knees in will come into a constructive rest pose. So in the autumn in China, we call it sometimes the heat in autumn. We call it autumn tiger, which means the heat in autumn sometimes can be stronger than the heat in summer. So, yeah, so that's why um, we tend to have these dry uh, features in our body, like hard to do poo poo, throat pain, throat dry, eyes dry, you know, liver problems. A lot of the <clears throat> sometimes you even tend to become more impatient. It's all because of the season's characters. And slowly we'll just extend our legs out. Open our palms to face the sky and we'll come into a Shavasana. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> We're just sucking all the benefits from this flow. Um, maybe come into a meditative status. Try to sing a one word intention in your heart. What you, what attitude or what intention you are holding for the coming autumn? Is it grateful? Is it joyful? It is chill? It is patient? It is, is it peaceful? Whatever, just use a one word intention to welcome yourself for the beautiful autumn. And I thank you for joining us on our beautiful terrace in Parma. And I hope you enjoyed this flow so much as I, so much as we did. <laughs> and I see you in our next flow. Namaste.